but uh, now I'd like to transition to one of my favorite things. Uh, this is the chakra balancing meditation. So um, people might be familiar with these these energy centers in the body, and interestingly enough, they're they're normally considered to be from an Eastern, like a, a Vedic and, and Buddhist tradition. Um, but actually, I recently found out that even uh, even like the ancient Mayans and, and uh, the Incan peoples had their own system of uh, energy centers within the body that are tied to organ centers and it's very similar. So this is kind of uh, very ancient and all universal uh, technology of the body. So I'm just going to go through each of these and there's a mudra, a hand position with each of these seven chakras and uh, a Sanskrit seed syllable. And uh, so starting at the root chakra, so you're kind of sitting on your, your sitting bones and just feeling rooted, grounded, inspired. This is a red vortex of light at the base of your spine. This is your muladhara chakra. And just kind of sending your roots to the earth. This is you know, your stability, physical form and the, the Sanskrit seed syllable is lam. It's pronounced like lam. And what we can do, there's two different ways to do it that are pretty fun. <laughs> Which is um, you know you just inhale deeply and you lam 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 until you run out of breath. And then there's lam, like the lam version of it. And so we can do the, the lam 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 and then the lam together. And just concentrating on that vibration and that light and just grounding and feeling, you know, safe, grounded, balanced. So chakra, your sacral chakra is your emotions, your desires. Uh, it's connected to your, your uh, appetite, your digestion, your um, reproductive influences. So uh, if you have, you know, anything you need to release from this area, it would be like addictions or unnecessary uh, desires that you want to release. So you're just visualizing this orange light behind your navel that's Pure, filling up, and your the syllable is bam. This is your, your energy levels. 
your, your willpower, your intentions, and if you have any excess uh, energy or any blockages here, it would manifest in anger. So kind of releasing that and just getting in touch with your will because you, know, you want to accomplish your intentions. And this is really helpful for that. So I like to do a really powerful ROM. Don't be afraid, raise your voice, raise your vibrations, and harmonize. Wow. Vishuddha chakra connected to your your thyroid. This is um, growth. It's your intuition. So it's like your voice box. You're speaking your th your truth. It's your communication with the world. Um, the uh, erase this. Okay. The syllable is hum, like you're humming. And you're just feeling that pure vibration vibrating in your voice box, healing your, your throat chakra so that you can speak your truth to the world. The mudra is open lotus mudra. So it's like sky blue lotus opening at your, at your throat chakra. And we're gonna hum and just feel that vibration. Yeah.
your third eye, your ajna chakra, is located in the center of your brow. So when you have your eyes closed, you're looking up and you just kind of see this eye. Your third eye is connected to your pineal gland, which is the part of your brain that creates melatonin that puts you to sleep and dimethyltryptamine, which Jason discussed in the ayahuasca workshop. This uh, is the spirit molecule that transitions your, your spirit between when you're born and when you die, and as well as when you're in dream states, sometimes it's released. So this is your, your perception, it's, it's your psychic abilities, you're kind of tapping into your, your, your mind's eye, which is your, your spiritual sight into your, your past, present, future, your sight into your path in life. And just tapping into that with the Sanskrit sea syllable, shyam. So it's like, Visualizing this pure indigo light from your, your third eye and chanting Shyam. The mudra, it's Kali mudra, Krishna mudra, it's like this. And we chant Shyam, visualizing your third eye, opening your third eye. Inhale. Shyam. Finally, your Sahasrara Chakra. This is your crown chakra. It's a thousand petaled lotus that floats just above your crown. It's of a, a violet or a white color. And as this blossom opens up, it beams down light from the center of the universe. Diamond white light that fills up every one of your centers. So this is every aspect of your physical, spiritual, emotional being that it's filling up, just nourishing every aspect of you. Your crown chakra is your connection to the divine, it's your connection to the universe. It's one single ohm. Just visualize that opening up, and you just you become very light as you're filled up with this, this healing light. Yana Mudra, this is the Om Mudra, this is the sound of creation, the sound of healing. One single Om together. practicing this, this chakra bouncing meditation each day just kind of gets you ready for anything, you know, purifying every aspect of you.